From One Twins Way in Minneapolis, welcome inside Target Field. The show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the Kansas City Royals taking on the Minnesota Twins. Now, With Chris Singleton, Mule. I'm John Shambi. And seeing the big bat in the lineup so far this year, Carlos Correa. Always exciting to see him in action, and it seems like he consistently finds a way to impact the game. Yeah, Boog, it, it's offensively at the plate, defensively when he's on the bases. And this guy's just a heads-up player, but he's got so much talent, and he makes the most of that. I believe it starts with his preparation because you never see him give away an at-bat. Just about ready to go. Our starting pitcher in this one, James Caprillia. Chris, how about a scouting report? Well, you can see his whip is a little above the league average. Not bad, but... I think in this one, he's going to need to control that a little bit better. Try to limit hitters from getting on base. Stay in that windup instead of the stretch. And when he does allow base runners, be able to throw a pitch. He's going to get a swing and miss. Get out of the inning so that a base hit doesn't do more damage and put his team behind the eight ball. And first offering is fouled off. Hey, come on now, guys. The wide to kick the pitch. That's towards center. Puts the squeeze on it. One up, one down. The batter now, Jorge Polanco. And first offering is fouled off. There's a strike. Oh, and two. Here we go, fellas, let's go. That oh. one misses in the dirt. One and two. One down, base is empty. To third. Posey collects, whips it to first on the run. And Polanco is out. My goodness, Chris. He had to generate a ton of power in that jump throw for the out. Let's take another look and dive into the numbers from StatCast. Man, that's an impressive throw right there. I mean, you've got to have a powerful arm to play third base in the big leagues, and he just showed us why he's at this level. He has a cannon. Here's Carlos Correa. And the first pitch misses for ball one. One ball, no strike. And he deals. There's a strike. Good pitch to hit on a tee up in the zone. I think he was looking for something else right there. Next one just misses. And it's two and two. The wind and the pitch. And down on strikes he goes, and that's the third out. On to the second from Minneapolis. No score. Welcome back. Luke Voigt at the plate. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Grant back to work. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Nobody out here. Nobody. And a pitch. And Voigt spoiling that one. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Here's Jack Peterson. First Go, offering, and it just misses. And a pitch. There's a strike. Clyde Washington doing the umpiring behind the dish in this one. Sometimes considered a bit of a pitcher's umpire, Singy. 
He likes the low ball, which traditionally favors pitching, but you know, hitters today are pretty good at dropping their barrel down, so we'll see how it goes in this one. Second inning here, no score. Next pitch misses. The count now two and two. Fans don't really understand the familiarity and relationship players and coaches have with umpires. I mean, you see these guys a lot. Yeah, Boog, these guys are all out there trying to do their best and perform at a high level. So when you respect that, I think, over time, you can develop a relationship with some of these guys. Two outs, base is empty. Gior Shella steps in. Didn't play in last night's game. A little breather for him. In there for strike one. Kicks and deals. One ball. No score here in the second. On the ground, right side. Lewis throws to first. Gets him easily, ends the inning. Down go the Twins in order. We'll move to the third with no score. Back at target field, and now here's a speed threat. Outfielder Byron Buxton. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. And first offering is fouled off. He's so solid, calms the heart rate of the pitcher Garrett. and the manager when the ball goes up in the air. You just automatically assume that it's an out every time it's hit in the air. The pitch. And downstairs. The pitch. And that one fouled off. The pitch. And now it's even up. And a pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Here comes a pitch. Got him looking. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. Here's Kike Hernandez. Here we go. Pick it up. Let's go. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Just kept it simple, played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. Here's Cam Gallagher. He swings and fouls one off. The pitch. That one missed. Hey, just you and him. Game yourself. Roll to short. Could be two. Over to Lewis. To first, but it pulls him off the bag. Well, he had the chance to turn in two right there, but I don't think he got a good grip on the ball as he tried to transfer from glove to throwing hand. They say you can't assume a double play. I beg to differ at the big league level, but it's going to be ruled as a fielder's choice. Back to the leadoff spot in the Twins lineup. Oliver Castilla, the next twin up to hit. Foul ball. Two down here. That's a hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Jorge Polanco, the next twin up to hit. A switch hitter batting right. 
So RBI spot, but Chris, this is a guy that is not really swinging the bat all that well here. In this situation, you have a real good opportunity to get swings and misses and record a strikeout. I think you attack him in this spot. Hey, two away now. Next offering upstairs. First and second, two down. Next offering is in for a strike. And here it comes. And fouled off. Kicks and fires. Up the middle. He dives, but he can't make the catch. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Well, a big swing of the bat right there. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Now Correa up to hit. And that's in there for strike one. All loaded up. Dangerous hitter at the plate. There's a line drive to left field. De La Cruz makes the play, and that is that. So they load the bases, but leave them stranded. On to inning number four. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Back in Minnesota. Bottom four. Now the cleanup hitter for Minnesota, Luke Voigt. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. That's off the mark. Ball one. And the pitch. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning through a lot of pitches. And now the lefty. Right side, hard hit. And he takes it himself for the out. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. And Jack Peterson stands in. That one fouled off. And now the one. Bounced up the middle. Mondesi collects it. On to first. They get him, but it was pretty close. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Gio Urshela. He's got pop, which is a little sneaky because he's so comfortable with taking his base hits to the opposite field. But he can jump you if you make a mistake. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Ball one there. The one one. Line drive caught. Nothing doing here for the Twins. Still no score. Back here at the ballpark. Here's Byron Buxton. This is a guy you got to keep an eye on when he digs in. Definitely been known to drop a drag bunt from time to time, and he's pretty good at it, Chris. Yeah, and he creates a, a sense of urgency for the defense because of the speed, because of the ability to put down that bunt. The 0-1. Try to get him to chase on the changeup that time. Now you see even sluggers from time to time try and use the bunt really as a way to beat the shift. And a swing and a miss there. Now, here we go. The wine of the pitch stays alive. Swings and misses, and he's down on strikes for the second time today. 
No, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. That one hammered left field. That's back there. He hits the wall and hangs on. Great catch. Now back the catcher. Two outs, base is empty. And now for the Twins, Cam Gallagher. First pitch, just misses. One ball, no strike. And that one missing low. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. The 2-0 is in for a strike. Hey, plays the one. Here we go. Hey, two here. But why to kick the pitch? Good eye Wait, right there. Strike. Here comes a 3 2. And a foul ball. This one high in the air to left center. Dela Cruz makes his way towards it. He's got it. And that is out number three. We're through five, and we still have no score. Bottom of the six. Here's a speed threat. Oliver Castilla. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. There's a strike. Boy, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. Hey, nobody out now. Got him. So he's gotten deep into this game, and at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. Next to hit, Jorge Polanco, one for two. Well, an at bat can be a little bit of a dance, strike one here, but a few more pitches. We'll see how it turns out. The other way, and there's a hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. And here comes Carlos Correa. First pitch doesn't find the zone. That's turn two, turn two here. There's a strike. Polanco one out, one stands out. at first with one out. The next That's pitch misses, and a count two and one. At the belt and fires. Fought off foul. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. Next offering popped in the air. Right field. And there's two down. Here's Luke Voigt. That one's in there, 0 and 1. one strike. Here we go now, let's go. Slapped foul. The pitch. That's to third. Posey over to pick it up. They take the force out, out with room to spare, and that's the inning. Twins wind up stranding one, and we're still knotted at zero.
and welcome back. And now Jack Peterson. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. The wind of the pitch. And ball one. Well, it's been a very impressive outing so far. His command has been a big part of it. Even when he misses, he misses outside the strike zone, which is exactly what a pitcher wants. Foul ball there. The tying run at the plate. And now two and one. Looking to get the tying run on base. And that one wrapped foul. The wind and the pitch. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. Posey makes the play. And there's one down. Gio Urshela to the plate. One down now. One down. Left field. Neustrom pulls it down, and there's two away. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Down the line towards the corner. Neustrom on the move to his right. Makes a nice running catch. And that will end the inning. Twins are set down one, two, three. And it remains one nothing. Bottom of the eighth, and now the DH, Enrique Hernandez. All these fans definitely want to get involved in the game. All it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on. First oh. offering misses badly for Quite ball enough. one. Hey, nobody out now. Swing and a high fly ball. That one out towards left center field. Way back there. Gone. Kike Hernandez takes him deep. It's his sixth home run of the season, and we're starting over. It's tied at one. With a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spot. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient, waited for it. It was like BP all over again. And the Royals manager making his way towards the mound now as he will make the move. G-Man Grant, done for the night. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. New pitcher in the game for the Royals, Domingo Tapia. Uh, this guy can bring it velocity-wise. Domingo Tapia. 